Hi, Jordan and all the tea scholars of the conference. My name is Yu Zhi Lai, and I am an Associate Research Fellow from Edema Sinica in Taiwan. Tea drinking has, uh, as one of the most important emblems of Chinese literary lifestyle, has gotten into full swing no later than the 16th century of the Ming period. Today, I'm going to introduce you a painting in the National Palace Museum collection on this very subject matter. This painting is attributed to Wen Zhenming, the leading figure of the art and cultural scene in the Jiangnan region of the early 16th century. The painting dated in 1531, although probably not done directly by him, should be produced in his close social circle. In this painting, we could see a literati in the right, a white robe is sitting in a cottage facing outside. One of his visitors has arrived and sat on the opposite side of the table while the other visitor has just crossed the bridge walking toward cottage. The whole estate is surrounded by the tall trees and separated from the Monday world by the upstreet and winding river. The tall trees symbolize the virtue of the owner, the encircled composition, echoes the canonical icon of the most famous literati estate, the Wang Chuan Villa, built by the 8th century point and painter Wang Wei. You can see here, this kind of encircled of the pocket light space is the trademark of the uh, pictorial characteristic of the Wang Chuan Villa. The host is entertaining his visitor with tea shown by the two porcelain cups and one big brown ceramic pot on the table, along with a volume of books indicating his cultural capital. In the adjacent room to the main studio, we could see through the trees and a big window that a boy serving is brewing tea or water on a stove with fire tones. Behind him, a tea candy, you can see here, a tea candy and another bowl is on the side desk. The upper half of the painting is occupied by the inscription of the poem you can see here on your right, which reads, in the deep place of the green mountain, where the mundane dust is scrutiny from sight, every window is open toward the water. It is a good time for having tea right after the season of grain rain. There comes the visiting of friends when the first boiling of water on the tripod stove. The postscripts here, Reads in the Ximao year of the Jiajing Ren, that is 1531, the tea matters or tea gatherings are prevailing in the mountain. My friends Lu Zhishan visited me. I therefore drew up the mountain spring water to brew tea for tasting. This could become a much told elegant story. This is the spring season after the grain rain. The light green coloring on the ground and the smudge of the ink wash of the leaves show the spring moisture in the air. We, as the viewers, seeing the pale distant mountain, the tree embraced the cottage, the muted river from the other side of the bank here. Outside the painting, seem to feel that we could, although barely, hear the chat as well as the sound of boiling water and comforting fire from a distance. This typical Wu school painter of the Suzhou area used the center tippet brush to draw the most of the lines in a very calm and steady way to convey a superficially simple and naive, yet highly controlled and sophisticated image. This is a painting dedicated to create an atmosphere of the quiet tranquility and intimacy between like-minded friends in a scrutiny world nurtured by nature, which is the ideal state of drinking tea that fascinated many literati in Ming Dynasty. No wonder the same composition has been copied again and again, seen in many other paintings you can see here around the same time. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this tea painting.